Hello YouTube, Craig in here. Welcome back to my series on Wolves and Lords of Mayhem. In this video we're going to go out to the farmland, defeat some creatures, and head towards the Sphere Caves. I'm going to keep these videos short, around 15 to 20 minutes long, uh, so I hope you'll enjoy them. And I will be able to show you some of the early parts of this game. In the last video, you might notice that uh, Craig had looked different than he does now. Uh, it's because I ran into a bug where my character got deleted and I had to roll a new character. So I skipped the, you know, the intro to the, and just pretty much got him to the same point we had, we stopped the last video. Uh, it's a different character, but we'll go ahead and continue with him. So I want to show you what I'm going to be doing with my attributes. Uh, there's ferocity, there's toughness, there's agility, and then there is wisdom. I've decided to put my points, I'm going to decided to split my points between ferocity and wisdom. And the reason that I want to do that is I want to get these ailments. I want to do an ailment build. As you can see, you can have 10 max ailments. And those are like dots that you can put on a, on a creature that'll do damage and you can stack them. And there are skills that you can get that can actually stack them higher than 10 from what I understand so I think that would be a cool way to build a character if we look at the passive skill tree I don't know if you guys have seen this but uh, you have your tier 1 which is your scholar which is the path I'm going to be going up scholar uh, you know gives me this buff if I if I work towards that which is the first thing I'm going to work towards it gives me ailment chance it gives me you know ailment damage a plus to ailment damage uh, and I don't know which ailment I'm going to use yet, but I'm definitely going up this tree. If we go to tier 2, that'll be the Cabalist tree. And again, there's maximum ale chance, there's ailment status inflicted, you know, plus 2. I mean, there's a lot of things that, are, that pertain to the character I want to build in this tier. So I'm going to be heading into this tier as soon as I can and getting some buffs and some skills out of that. And then, if you look at the other side, you can see that you can go different directions with the character. You get different buffs, depending on which direction you go. And the different skills, you know, capitalize on different things in the, in the build. But I'm going to be heading towards Time Weaver in Tier 3, which you can see right here. And there's a lot of ailment-related skills that I can get. There is this buff here there's actually three major buffs in this tier and then there are bonuses to ailment stacks basically so I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna work my way towards this first buff and if you look going down the other side you can see that it's mainly force shield regeneration and going up here is where I'm gonna be headed but you could also go this way, which gives you, you know, like spell damage and resistances and you know other other skills. There's a lot of ailment-related skills in this Time Weaver tier. So as far as attributes, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be splitting it between wisdom and ferocity. Now, I looked at toughness because I wanted to know about force shield, and I spent a bunch of points in toughness to try to see how much points I needed to spend to get one increase in force shield. And it was five. Five points to get one point of force shield, which didn't seem worth it to me. So I decided not to put any points into that. I'm going to do straight wisdom, six or seven points, and then the rest into ferocity. I'll put seven in here and then three into ferocity. As you can see, I have some bonus damage because of those attributes. I need to spend my passive skill, so I'll go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to get the spell damage and ailment damage increase. So I'll confirm that and then we'll head out into, oh, I do need, I feel the power I do need brooding. to 
make sure that I use Winter's Grass. I'm using that instead of the Summon Zombie that I had in the last video. Again, this is a different character. Attention! You are all that stands between the Greens and your families. So stop sobbing. Get ready for hacking. Make every blow count. Well, we're not even trained. How are we supposed to kill them? You use the sharp edge. <laughs> See? So once we exit the city, this is going to be the first quest that we need to do. We need to talk to this. Yeah, we need to talk to this guy before we can leave. Another new construct, huh? You look different from the others. Oh, I know. You're not wetting your pants. How come? I've been on battlefields before. A soldier, huh? My lucky day. I need someone for a mission. Think you got what it takes? I'm listening. The Sphere have penetrated two of the three defenses we built to Sphere. I can't even pronounce that, so I'm going to call it Sphere. Of Stormfall is in Sandor's barricade, north from here. Get to him and tell him that reinforcements will come. But his orders are to hold his ground at any cost. If his line breaks, the farmlands will be lost. The storm be with you. Don't if this is like most games of this type, we're going to be the only reinforcements that this guy ever gets. This game includes a town portal You're talking nonsense again. system. Basically, hit T, and it will, you know, it'll transport you back to town. I like this mechanic. I mean, you've seen it in Diablo. You've seen it in, you know, Torchlight. I mean, most games have a way of getting you back to town quickly because, you know, it would be insane to run back through all the areas that you've gone through to get back to town. And in this game, what I've noticed is if you run back through areas that you've already been to, stuff seems to spawn behind you. So, like, once you kill monsters, they'll come back. Be vigilant. Hold position. A lot of people yell at you when you're trying to leave the city. The game also includes a waypoint system. That must be Sandal's barricade. That'll come in handy. Please don't tell me you are the reinforcements. Maybe. I have a message for Sandor. He is inside. Organizing the... Oh, no. Greens! The Greens are coming! I'm going in. What? Wait! I didn't authorize! You want reinforcements? I'm all you're gonna get. Now let's go! Come on, men! Let's earn our keep! Time to show those greens the color of the storm! Warm her up! I want to hear her sing! Now! Squad two, to the west! Squad three, in position! Here they come! Knock! Unleash the storm now! To hell with it! Fire at will! Give them everything you've got! Stand as one for Stormfall! Okay, so at this point you pretty much are fighting just trash mobs, trying to help the guards stay alive, because these guards are really weak. And by the end, they'll all be dead anyway, so... This part right here isn't too hard. Squad 1, take the south! Squad 2 to the west! Show them the might of the storm! We'll live through this! So you fight these guys for a while, then some a little bit tougher mobs spawn, and then there's a, like a mini boss after this that you get to fight. Spitters, take cover! Stand your ground! Don't let them get 
Yeah, these things will spit poison at you. Which is just a pain, so you gotta take that out quick. is coming up here. Incoming! Now this guy isn't too hard. He's got a charge attack, which you can dodge or just run away from. He's got a breath attack. And then he has this attack where he just kind of does swing after swing after swing. And again, you just dodge or get out of the way. That guy's not too hard. He drops some decent stuff for this level anyway. And that's it, you talk to the quest guy again. Who the hell are you, soldier? Just a messenger. Some messenger you are. What's the message then? That the reinforcements are coming soon. Impeccable timing. Take their sweet time as we get hammered. We won't hold for much longer if they don't get here soon. There's more. Your orders are to stand your ground at any cost until they arrive. Are you serious? My men... My men's morale is hanging by a thread. Their friends are dead. They are famished, wounded. We have one cannon that barely works and little to no arrows left. What am I to do? Those this guy sounded a lot more optimistic no before reason. we, we showed up. Stand the next bloody assault. You won't have to. Oh yes, and why is that? I'm taking the fight to them. Don't be ridiculous. Watch me. Nothing will stand so I'll spend my points here real quick. Gotta spend my passive. Come back here, you fool! They have a giant burning one leading them. It will fry you alive! I'm not letting your men die, Sandor. So now we head for the spur caves. And the game has a lot of extra little areas, like little side areas that you can go into where you can find, you know, loot and you can do like missions that pertain just to that area. In the interest of time, I'm going to skip those areas for this video. I'm just going to go straight to the caves. Yeah, these red skull symbols are monsters that are enhanced. Be harder to kill than the regular monsters. Again, this area isn't really too hard. There is one like side boss that you can go to. I'll show you that one. We'll actually go kill that boss. It's like a bee that you run into. Giant burning one. Big splints him off. I must find this beast and stop him. just rats and other the other monsters that you've already fought there'll be a couple of humanoids like there's some here 
that crystal looking thing actually spawns monsters, so. If you don't kill it, it'll just keep spawning monsters. just a pain. I mean, I don't really know if there's any reason to kill those if you can just avoid them. You see that little green stairway icon? That's showing you that there's another area you can go into. That guy's pretty easy. But if you can see, it's kind of glowing up there. That's another area that you can go to into and get, you know, more treasure and stuff. But we're not going to be hitting those areas in this video. Here's like a mini boss, or a, I'm not really sure what to call it. But it is very easy to kill. As you can see, it barely did any damage to me. And you can farm some items off of it, so why not? I just wanted to show you that we could get to that and kill that guy pretty easily. So I'm looking at my items just to see what I picked up and see if there's anything beneficial. Looks like there's a couple of decent items that I can put on. So I'm going to switch out anything that I can, give myself a little bonus if I can. Now we're going to head straight for the caves. Oh, I'm going to put my ability, or my attribute points there. And not, I can't forget to spend my passive. I'm working towards that buff again, so I'm going up to the next, the next skill heading that direction. So the entrance to the caves isn't too far away. You gotta go through a couple of monster hordes before you get there. You're basically looking for a bridge and that bridge goes across to another area. Is right up here. Got a chest. You find these periodically throughout the game. Got some spalders I didn't have before. After we get across this bridge, we're going to take a right. After we check this, we're going to take a right. Oh, not again! It's getting closer to the city. The These monsters aren't too hard to fight. We increased our consuming embers level. So we'll modify that here in the future. skilled up too, so that's good. Now once we hit the entrance to the spur caves, I'm going to go ahead and 
end the video there and then the next episode we'll be going through the first level of the caves so again if you like this video hit the like subscribe I'll be putting more videos up on Wolves and Lords of Mayhem in my playthrough as a mage character so don't miss it I hope you guys like this video. The entrance to their network. Sneaky bastards. I'll continue in the next video. Thanks for watching. Craig and out.